Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tarot and Spirituality. I have almost 600 videos here, many of them tarot readings done in various formats. You might find a video here that you don't agree with, and that's okay. Just move on to the next video. I'm sure that you will find something here that you will connect with. The road to closure. So is anyone watching this who needs closure on something? It just, I don't know. I had an odd feeling about this reading. Oh, what I want closure on, the star. What I want closure on. Personally, this means something from me. This is Aquarius energy for anyone watching this who needs a hint. And if you know me, you'll know. We need some closure on this Aquarius. Often thought I've had closure on this Aquarius, but mm, nope, nope. Ever so often when you think you have closure on something and then there's a trigger that brings it right back up to the surface. So personally, I need closure on this Aquarius real closure so it's like disappears from my life never happened <sighs> so what I want closure on what do you want closure on and this is Aquarius energy the star could it could point to that time of year for some of you that time of year the beginning of the year which we're going to be coming on in just a few weeks again it seems impossible so is there something about that time of year for some of you? Did something happen? Did something go down and you need closure? Is, is that like an anniversary of revisiting of something that um, you would rather be able to get past? Um, so for the rest of you, what do you need closure on? The image on this card, it's, it's always um, fixated me on almost every deck in, in some respects. It's like someone is doing two things at the same time, but they're only focused on one. This other, this other hand out here, pouring pitchers of water out. This character, I don't know how clear you can see this, but this character has a pitcher of water in each hand, pouring them out. One's being poured into the pool. The one she's paying attention to what she's pouring out over here will actually amount to something. It's being added to something that already exists, so it's building on something. This pitcher over here, she's pouring it out on the ground. It's going to go to waste. It's going to hit the ground and dry up. If this represents or feels like a situation in your life that you need closure on, there you go. I have a feeling this is going to be a difficult but maybe cathartic reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. The second position for this tarot spread is learning to accept a situation as is. How do you do that? How do you learn to accept a situation as is? And we're just pulling one, one effing card here. How do you, oh, four of wands. Okay. For some of us, we're going to learn how to accept a situation as is by celebrating the positive things in our life. This was negative, but but this we need closure on, which means it's over. So now we have something positive to focus on. So let's positively focus on this positive on this positive thing. Seems like for, for some of us, we're going to take what may have been a traumatic event over here for some of us, and we are going to dress up what remains, dress up what we came out of it with, and make it look really good and focus on that. Is that going to be enough? Are we going to learn to accept a situation as is? I don't know. Like, what's holding all these wands up? They're, they just... It looks pretty tenuous, pretty shaky. Like, 
like this, this learning how to accept a situation is, is this is like, feels like a quick fix to me. This feels like, this feels like something that is only going to work uh, short term, you know, only going to fix this short term here with that. Is that saying that a lot of us is never going to accept a situation as is? There's going to have to be changes in order to progress. That's what I'm seeing from this card. Third position for this reading, an action to help you find closure. Oh, what do you have to do to actually find closure from this? What do you have to do to find closure from this? Okay. <laughs> King of Swords, Knight of Swords. Uh, to actually find closure, the action that's going to be needed for some of us is some really hard, difficult, maybe nasty talks with someone, some communication where it is all laid out on the line. Maybe there's some of us that need... Uh, we need someone to actually come clean. We need someone to apologize. We need someone to to tell us why this happened. Why why was this situation over here that needs closure? Why did that come about in the first place? We need an apology for this. We need um, we need someone to step up to the plate and actually claim their bad behavior or, or claim their bad choices that we need we need that otherwise this little shaky card right here trying to get along and accept something as is this is going to be a shaky little card here and it can tip at any time any time this is going to be so uncomfortable this is this may actually bring something to a peak. This may bring something to a point where either it's going to work and be accepted, be acknowledged, be forgiven, and for God's sakes, everyone can move on, or it's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Fourth position, lessons learned. <laughs> if there's any lessons learned, we don't always learn. Let's see. Are there lessons learned from this? What are the lessons learned from this? Oh. The lessons learned from this, don't be afraid to end something and move on. Don't be afraid to, bye-bye, I'm out of here. If you can't take any more, you can't take any more. Oh, and how funny. There it is. The fact that the star is right above the Six of Swords. This is this is extremely relevant for me. I don't know if it is for, for anyone else out there. This is the divorce card, actually, or the card of moving on, knowing when to, to just move on, move on to greener pastures, move on to new adventures, move on to sometimes literally moving on to new places, just moving on. And also, there is the feeling that this thing you want closure on and this lesson learned, the lesson learned is actually going to help you find closure. Moving on is actually the solution for finding closure, which is another odd thing that had come up right below this card. I think that's really weird. And very befitting the tarot. Very befitting the tarot. Uh, the fifth position for this deck why did I why did you need to learn this? Why did I need to learn this? Why did I need to experience this? Let us see. Why did you need to experience this in the first place? Why did you need to learn what you needed to learn out of here? Oh. Okay, I'm not really sure. I'm going to draw some more cards for this. First card was the, the Two of Wands. Why did you need to learn this? Oh. 
Uh, for some of us, we needed to learn this because it's repetitive behavior. It's, it's like coming from the past, repetitive behavior. We, we've been through this cycle before, and I'm feeling if it's not in a previous lifetime, it's definitely in this lifetime. In this lifetime, it's so recent. We've done this before, and we didn't learn from it. So by God, spirit in the universe is going to shit on us again and say, hmm, are you going to pay attention this time? Are you going to learn the lesson this time? So this two of wands character standing there in, in kind of a hazy days of ambivalence, you know, like, oh, get your shit together. It's saying, get your shit together. Figure this out. This is a pattern. For some of us, this is a pattern in our lives, and we keep repeating it over and over and over and over. And it seems that with every uh, successive lesson, it gets harsher and harsher and harsher because the universe is trying harder and harder and harder <laughs> to knock us in the head and wake us up and to teach us something. We have a lesson to learn. Okay. Last card for this for this reading. The best way to move forward. Okay. Okay. And I still say these two cards answer all the questions here. Go back over and re-listen to what I said about them. But we're going to pull one more card. Best way to move forward. Is there a best way to move forward here? Best, oh, the best way to move forward. How wonderful. The moon come up. The best way to learn forward here for us is not to lie to ourselves about the situation anymore, to be able to look at something really stark, maybe ugly, maybe unpleasant, but don't lie to yourself about it. Don't lie to yourself about it. And one of the lies we keep telling ourselves is, um, it will get better. It will change. They'll change. I'll change. The situation will change. It will all get better. Not necessarily. Those are a few of the lies that we tell ourselves. Um, another thing I'm hearing from this card is don't allow other people to lie to you. When you know the truth, you know the truth. Uh, this includes gaslighting. This includes someone who tries to knock down your confidence that you know what you know. You've experienced what you've experienced. You can see through things. And um, no matter, no matter how deceptive someone tries to be, you know what you know. You've seen what you've seen. And, and most important, the most important lesson, though, right now, the best way to move forward is not to lie to yourself. Well, this has been a really unusual, weird reading. To tell you the truth, I didn't want to do this tarot spread um, right off the bat, the road to closure. At first, I didn't feel like I had a connection with it. And as I start to do the reading, it's like, oh, I have like too much of a connection with it. And then I'm thinking, well, you know, there's probably a gazillion of you out there or the three people that watch my videos who, who actually very well might connect with this so so yep there you have it and time for me to go and buck it up with my new win movie maker and suck it up and edit this video and get it out there and yay for us until next time bye bye